It is five o'clock, and we are starting the game, and we are we are resetting the game. Boop. And is everything making sound the way it's supposed to be? I think so. Oh, I mute I muted it earlier, so I didn't go insane. Sound on. Okay, let me minimize this, minimize this, minimize this. It's Big Campbell. <laughs> that would be a name. I am so ready for this shit. Here it is. It's been a long time, Snake. It's been a long time. Didn't expect to see you again. Drink. Got scotch. I'm gonna have to do so many tough guy voices. Single ball, straight up and neat. If I remember right, that you do. I, I can't do that many different kinds of tough guy voices. This house, built it myself. <laughs> Didn't know you were a carpenter. You know, it's already been three years since you left. How's Alaska been treating you? Colonel, did you come all this- did you come all the way out here with the cavalry to make small talk with me? Tough guy voice is just a lot of guys trying the hardest at imitating that one guy. You know the one. Trouble, huh? The world is on the brink of nuclear holocaust. <laughs> We came to request your help. Request, huh? As if I have the choice to refuse. You do. I know too well that you can't be ordered or coerced. But you'll say yes. Because you need to. Let me tell you about it first. <sighs> ago, a C-5 galaxy transport plane, on a classified mission to South America, vanished. Oh, this deck scrolling is... Terrorists. Of course. But the problem is, what it was carrying. Nuke. Yes. And some. <laughs> it was Metal Gear. Metal Gear- WHAT?! <laughs> Nuclear capable bipedal armored vehicle designed to realize the possibility of nuclear strikes from anywhere on the planetary surface. The devil's candy of mass destruction to change the meaning of nuclear warfare. And it was on that plane but I... Yes, you destroyed Metal Gear in outer heaven seven years ago. But the U.S. government recognized the strategic advantages of Metal Gear and secretly extracted the data from outer heaven. The development continued just under a... Flag. Ooh, this is a cool Metal Gear design. The South American hop was probably for a field exercise. Christ. Metal Gear's researchers were also on board. The idea of Metal Gear in terrorist hands. Goose. Goose Washington. <laughs> go, go. Metal Gear's running around boosting politicians into finding out its new location in just a week. Came in today. Where? Gindra. Gindra. This is good as hell so far. This is very Metal Gear. Central Africa. Fairly small. I heard there was a civil war going on. An armed uprising by a separatist. Ethnic minority. Whoa. And the peace 
peacekeeping troops were deployed. So the hermit keeps up with the news. Metal Gear is in the hands of the armed separatist Group Gindra Liberation Front, commonly known as GLF. Their leader is General Augustine. Egwaban, Egwaban, charismatic and armed to the teeth. They operate out of a virtually impregnable, uh-oh, fortress, Galware, in the mountains. Neither the Gindran government nor the UN can get to them. We also have intel that they recently hired several top-class mercenaries as consultants. <laughs> we suspect that the mercenaries executed the Metal Gear hijacking. So they plan to win their independence by threatening nuclear strikes with Metal Gear, huh? Snake, come with me to Gindra. We need you. We need the legend. Don't call me that. I know all the names for a killer. And that's one of them. A military dictatorship in possession of... Metal Gear. Damn it. You know they won't hesitate to push that button. And millions will die. Colonel, I'm not in Foxhound anymore. You're saying you won't go? Why can't you leave me alone? Alaska's quiet and my life is good. You won't change your mind? No. Even if I tell you that the fortress, Galoai, GLF's home base, was once called Outer Heaven. <gasps> what? The very same place where you went to war seven years ago. Destroyed Metal Gear and became the legend. Is there a connection? I don't know. But the fact is, there is Metal Gear in Outer Heaven. You believe in coincidence? I believe in conspiracy. And you want me to find out? I'm asking you to join me. If the past is at your heels, Turn around and face it. Am I wrong? <sighs> End it once and for all. It's all back there in outer heaven. <sighs> Tell me about this mission. Jeez Louise, I how did they manage to have cutscenes this long in a Game Boy game? Your mission is to infiltrate the fortress, Galoare. Rescue the hostages and neutralize Metal Gear before its assembly is complete. Steve Gardner, the National Security Advisor, is in command of this mission. Gardner himself? America's best kept secret just got hijacked. And may be used in a terrorist attack. Who else? A national crisis, in fact. A global one, I'd say. And one more thing the Army's Delta Force is already in Galoare. Carry out the mission in concert with them. John Parker, Army Chief of Staff. 
top army brass, huh? Metal Gear's development was under army control. They, of course, want to do something about the situation themselves. In addition, four people will serve as your four people I'm not going to call backup personnel via the codex. First, Mei Ling. Oh, it's... <laughs> okay. Awfully young. Doesn't look like a soldier. PhD candidate at MIT. Incidentally, she developed the new radar and codex system you'll be using. She'll be in charge of mission logs. <laughs> Saving as well. When you have a question about the radar, or the codec, or need to log in, save, contact her at frequency 140.96. Brian McBride of Africa Desk, Director of Operations, Central Intelligence, oh I hate this guy, Agency, CIA, don't look so disgusted. McBride effectively planned this mission and has expert knowledge of Gindran affairs. Ask him about the mission, GLF, or Gindran environment if you need to. The frequency is 141.52. Bernard Lensenblank, alias Weasel, a mercenary. I've heard of him. Word is, he's about as trustworthy as a weasel, okay? But he's good. Some say as good as Solid Snake, the legend. So why isn't he working the field on this one? The U.S. government apparently, apparently has more trust in you. I doubt that. Anyway, Weasel's a player in the mercenary circle. He's well up on sol he's well up on soldiers of fortune from all over the world. And we know that GLF con contracted some major ones. If you run across a live one, get Weasel on the codec. He'll have something useful for you. I have field control of this mission. Frequency is... Oh man, this is the most grizzled camel I've ever looked. Look at him. If anything happens, contact me ASAP so I can stay on top of it. Colonel, didn't you retire from Foxhound? Two years ago? Why this mission? No one can carry this mission out but you. I was only called in because I know you well. And that's all. I also have a score to settle with the past. We all have our shadows, Snake. <sighs> okay. Oh, and now he's got his speaking suit, and he's got his little bandana, and he's on the plane. Hell yeah. Snake, we've arrived over outer heaven. Galoare. Ready to descend. We're counting on you. I know. <laughs> it's all back here. Dun, 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 dun. working. Alright. Options. 
away pad in figure one. The start button is enter. So, oh, this isn't mapped at all. Oh, I have the wrong profile. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, bye -bye. Let's check OBS to make sure that unplugging my stuff didn't. Uh, unplugging my stuff absolutely messed something up. But I'm fixing it now. Boom. Boom. Please, where'd my other webby cam go? Please. Come back, sweet baby. Hmm. Please, other webcam. I need you. Okay. Hey, here we go. Great. Great, great, great. And we're going to select new game. Tracks very good. And am I gonna have a Kodak call immediately? I bet. I, oh, look at the animation on Snake's little sprite. This is Snake, Colonel. Can you hear me? Successful Halo landing, I see. Nothing like skydiving at dawn. Three kilometers south of the fortress as planned. Heavy security sentries ahead. Snake, make sure you stay out of their sight. I'm not gonna do melee accent. Watch the radar to keep track of enemy movements. I'll go over it again just in case. Okay, thanks, Mei Ling. See the radar at the top right? The large dot is you. The others are enemy troops. <sighs> Look at these sprites, they're so good. Got it? Once you've been detected by the enemy, the radar will be non-operational. Be careful. I don't see why I would even need the radar. Your mission is to infiltrate Galoare. Work with Delta Force to rescue the researchers and destroy Metal Gear. Orders will be relayed via the codec. My frequency is 140.85. Call if anything turns up. To use the codec, just press select and then start. We'll be in touch. When a call sounds, push the select button to receive. Raise me on frequency 140.96 when you need to. Save. First, get to the front of the fortress. Cut northward through the jungle you're in. Roger that. Okay. And, oh! Oh, this controls like a dream! And I got my... Uh-oh. You can, you can tap on stuff and they investigate.
punch with A and I fire the handgun. Getting away is going 
mic was terrible. <laughs> oh no. Now we get the title screen. Amazing. Snake, we have new intelligence. Bad news. How did you know? You've never exactly been a messenger of joy. So... Seems that Delta Force was wiped out. Are you serious? It's true. But Delta Force, the best of the army's best. So easily. It means they were outclassed. <sighs> Those mercenaries on the enemy's payroll are all A-list guns. You've been out of action for a while, but I'm out there, and I know what I'm talking about. My uncle works for Soldier of Fortune. If you're going to take one of them on, give me a buzz. Planning to give me advice? That's what I was hired for. It's a policy of mine to earn my keep. Frequencies 141.80. Don't forget. <laughs> I won't. Snake. McBride from the CEA here. Don't underestimate GLF. They aren't just... <laughs> Damn, I didn't know you could run Phantom Pain on these settings. <laughs> they aren't just another rebel group. Their annual revenue from drug and rare metal trafficking is more than $50. <laughs> is more than $50 per year. They're real heavy hitters. Hello. Hello, Bert. Hello, Alice. And their black market arms were financed by that money. Oh, state of the art. Be careful. I'm with the Africa Desk of Ops. I can provide data on not just the GLF, but on things like Gindran... Why does he sound like Matt Berry? Gindran Climate, Flora and Fauna. It gave me an erection. Flora and Fauna. My frequency is 141.52. All right. Snake, continue with the mission. Finally running a ding-dang land cable into this room. Hell yeah. Infiltrate the Fortress Galoade. I have no idea if that's how you pronounce this, or is it Galloway? Jeez, okay. Snake, first gain entry to the fortress. Enemy security should be even tighter than it was in the jungle. Keep your eyes open, especially for surveillance cameras. Yeah, okay. I wonder if it was how long I took that screwed up my score last time, or if it was uh, that time that I died. Yeah, this is slick as hell. It feels really good to play. In some ways, it feels better than Metal Gear Solid on the PSX to play. Okay. I don't want to go in there. It seems too easy. And there's probably extra stuff over in the other direction. I'm not taking the easy way. for a shift change. Soldier B. 
Is it already? Come on, hurry up! We're both in big trouble if they catch us! Slacking off! Relax! I'm doing 21 and 24 from Venture Brothers. As if anyone ever comes out here! Please, 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 please let me move. Please let me move. Okay. Finding secrets, baby. Just try it. Yes. You don't even have to be low. Uh, this is blind. I have never played Ghost Battle before. I have, I have played Metal Gear Solid games before, so like they all tend to follow basically the same plot. Up at all. 
except for I guess moving the microphone closer. Um, but I can turn I can turn the game volume down to negative eight decibels and see how that see how that does it. Do 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 do. Another terrible score. I'm not even playing. I'm not even playing for the score. But I don't want the game to call me terrible. It doesn't feel good. Okay. Oh, Hell yeah. Perfect. These guards are all so lazy. I have trouble figuring out how I'm supposed to get away when they catch me because it doesn't seem especially possible. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna use the power of, photo of Photoshop to make me look like the ultimate gamer. There's nothing. Oh, there's nothing. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing and there's nothing in here. Are you kidding me? Um, I could kill him with punching him, but I don't know how sensitive the like alert mechanics are. And if you, I'm not good enough at the combat in this version of the game yet that alerting the guards means anything for that I get killed.
guys fall down the thunder. So I'm just gonna call this a combat practice run. powerful, but the enemies... Oh, it looks like they don't spawn instantly. They eventually stop. Okay. And then you just... But I don't want to live in this... I don't want to live in this cursed timeline. Just fucking kill me, dude. Okay. Whew! Where was I? Okay. Oh, I'm all the way over here. No! around. But now I know that most of the rest of that stuff is kind of a waste of time. Other gun from I don't think that one thing that makes this harder than uh, the other Metal Gear games is please I don't think the enemies drop like items and stuff because uh, I've killed a bunch of them and they don't seem to drop anything seems like. What you what you find is uh, procure a POS procure on site or OSP on site procure is the only way you can get uh, guns and ammunition. But the assault rifle is very good, and now I have it. And I imagine it's going to be very useful for boss fights. I don't think there was anything especially important in that room. That's so well guarded. I want in. And I can get in. I can do it. Like, I'm already getting a terrible score. I might as well see if there's some, like, thermal goggles or something.
anyone out there? Can anyone hear me? This is... Who is this? Thank God. This is Sergeant Chris. <laughs> this is Sergeant... This is Sergeant Kylie Jenner of Delta Force. I tried to give the GLF Pepsi, and they wouldn't accept it. Delta Force, a survivor. It wasn't annihilated? No. Who are you? <laughs> the U.S. rescue team? No. I'm the black sheep you were supposed to work with. Uh? Not Foxhound? Solid Snake speaking. You! I've heard things about you. What kind of things? The best saboteur ever. <laughs> the one who destroyed Metal Gear in Outer Heaven. Seven years ago. The legend. Don't believe everything you hear. Some say I'm just an attention-seeking killer. So, which is true? Make up your own mind. <laughs> Sergeant Jenner, are there any other survivors from the unit besides you? No, everybody else. I... they're monsters, sir. They? You mean those mercenaries? They don't even like Pepsi. Yes, <laughs> especially the leader. A man called Viper. There was nothing we could do. Even if it wasn't an ambush. An ambush? The mission was leaked? I don't know. We brought our we brought our most high tech Pepsi. This is an absolutely classified mission. <laughs> there is no way it could have been compromised, unless it was the man literally named Weasel on our payroll. <laughs> Wanna bet? There's always someone who's willing to sell out. What makes an American brass tick, huh? Money, power, glory, women, men. <laughs> Can it? There are no homosexuals in the State Department, and there is no risk of spies here. Pretty sure, aren't you? Everyone involved in this mission has undergone rigorous background checks. I see. They're all trusted. How about it, Colonel? This is a top secret mission. Only a handful of people know of it in the government and the military. I have to agree with McBride. All right. Sergeant Jenner, is Metal Gear really inside the fortress? Yes! I still don't have the exact location, but the assembly is apparently near completion. And the researchers have been confined to another building. Do you have the location of the researchers? I'm sorry. All I know is there's somewhere here in Galoade. Okay. How did you enter the fortress? Through the drainage system. The drainage system, huh? Bingo bango. It's where they drain their Pepsi. You saw those buildings with recessed east walls? There are hidden access ways down into the ground. In those recesses, building with an indented east wall entry into an underground route in the recess. Got it. Get yourself back there and get out of here. No, 
I'm staying here. No, you're not. I have no time to babysit a brownie. Oof. You get out. No. Sergeant. I will not abandon the mission. But... I have to finish this. For your fallen comrades. Hmm. <laughs> Snake. Having an ally in the field could be useful. Please, sir. <laughs> All right. You've got guts. I'll grant you that. Thank you. We'll rendezvous inside the fortress. In the meantime, gather as much intel as possible. Got it. You watch out for your own back until then. Of course. And no cowboy acts. I know that. Cowboys don't drink Pepsi. <laughs> and one other thing. Yes? Can I call you Chris? We don't know, we don't know each other that well. We can easily change that. As comrades in arms? That's up to you. Okay, my frequency is 140.25. Ask me if you have any questions about the fortress. Okay, Chris. Good luck, Snake. All right, Snake. Look for that way into the duct that Sergeant Jenner was talking about. Three. We haven't even been playing for an hour. We're making so much progress. Go to the building with a recessed east wall and get underground from the concealed entry point in the recess. Okay. Building with a recessed east wall. Jeez Louise, calling me again, huh? Snake, you need card one to open that door. Card one should be in that truck to the northwest. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Thanks, Chris. You already paid off the uh, very paying dividends. with a recessed east wall. Neat. It's right there. I suppose. Or it's one of these buildings with a recessed east wall. Here we go. Ha 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 ha. Figured it out. Oh, so all of the buildings with 
just these walls. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, before I keep looking, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And I've got the card now, so. Frig, frig, frig. I don't want to die this time. Please. The guards are faster than you. Please, leave me alone.
feel like this is Yeah, because that requires a card to get in. Okay, here we go. Here we go. terrible, but I got found zero times, and I used zero rations, and I killed zero enemies. Whatever you say, Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babel. Chris, I'm at the duct entrance. If it turns out Chris is the girl, and I'm giving her, like, the weird femme Kylie Jenner voice, uh, I'm gonna feel like I've internalized a lot of misogyny. Whereas, if Chris isn't a girl, then I guess I've internalized a lot of homophobia. Whoops! Chris, I'm at the duct entrance. Where are you? In the building right above the duct you're in. Pretty near. I'm about to find out what I can- what I can hear. How? I got an enemy trooper uniform. It should let me blend in and listen in. Chris. Don't worry. I'll find out where the researchers are. Don't overdo it. I know. I'll go up to your floor and we'll rendezvous there. I'll be disguised, so no codec contact. Make voice contact when I'm alone. All right. But aren't you wearing the same uniform? Okay, yeah, Chris is a girl. They're doing this little plot point again. The same uniform as the enemy? How am I supposed to spot you among all the enemy soldiers? What about my hairstyle? I have my hair tied up at the back. You should be able to recognize me from that, okay? Hairstyle, huh? Even among the GLF soldiers, there are heaps of guys with long hair. Yeah, you're right. Um, okay. How about if I wear a red cap? All right. If I see a soldier wearing a red cap using my Game Boy Color technology with hair tied up at the back, it must be you. Got it. Right, Snake. See you soon. There's definitely a boss fight coming up. Oh, another call. How fun. Snake, rendezvous with Sergeant Jenner. She's in the watchtower above. Get through the duct and gain entry to the tower. Can you? Ending bow. Hey, nice. 
More rats, huh? I feel like the boss fight's definitely coming up with, like, Turbo Rat or Mighty, uh, Mighty Rapster. <laughs> yeah, Pete Buttigieg is a boss in this version. What's up with this elevator? I don't like your gear. Oh, there's literally nothing up there. <laughs> yeah. More rat. Are you still hanging around here? You've already been ordered to withdraw from this area. Withdrawal? I haven't heard anything about that. What's going on? Haven't you heard Pete's going rat mode? There's a squall coming! Pete's gonna kill every dog within arm's reach! The river's already flooded and there's going to be a whole lot of water around here soon to wash away the sin of Pete's crimes! Oh my god, I told you, Pete's crimes are uncleansable! First I heard of it. Merd, if I'd stayed here... <laughs> Don't be a fool, Snake. The shape of our democracy is the issue that affects every other issue. The shape of our democracy is the wedge driving our heart toward the sand trap of injustice. I believe in the dream of hope. That I can stray for your many family with a drone, I may OP. Mayard, if I'd stayed here. You get the idea. Come on, there's no time to lose. Okay. So I gotta get the F out of here? What happens if I go in here? Yeah, it's locked. So I guess I've, I guess I figured out what these ladders are for. I'm so smart. I'm really smart. Smart and cool. Come on through. Oh, frig. Okay. <laughs> See, those guys didn't know. They could have just uh, stood on ladders. How many dogs do y'all think that Mayor Pete Booty Gag has killed this week? I think it's one I think it's one per day because he's having an especially stressful week. Sergeant Jenner. Oh, <laughs> Chris is a girl. She should be somewhere in the tower with you. Yeah, remember that she's disguised. Contact her when she's alone so that the enemy won't be alerted. She 
has long hair tied up at the back, and is wearing a red cap. I know. Long hair tied up at the back, and a red cap. No problem. Um, so first things first, I'm going to go back and explore and see what I missed down in that. Oh, it won't let me go back. Once it runs out, your life will take a hard hit. Yeah, I figured. Go look for the mask first. Okie dokie. Yeah, I would love to leave this room. Let's get out of here. Here we go. No. Not homie behavior. But well, you know, I finally evaded some guards. Um, that's level two door, I suppose. Explain how breathing works. Snake, use the breathing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is that a pony's tail? Very good. Okay. So, 
Also, we did get some useful information, and that useful information is you cannot sidle under the camera. sensor rigged there. The alarm will go off if you break the beam. Thanks. The infrared wavelength is invisible to the human eye, but it should be detectable if the beam passes through vapors or smoke. Do you have anything that can produce smoke or gas? Well, yeah, I got something that can produce corpses for now, though. Okay. And I...
twice, but it missed. Them. Doesn't hurt me.
good. Not good. I have been in better situations. better situations than this. <laughs> so that could have gone better. So quickly. Okay. I have to put the gas mask back on. Head back in here. You're knocked out.
Haha, <laughs> you can't fool me twice. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't know which would be worse, working here or in the Umbrella Corporation. Oh, they turn on and off.
Hello! Uh, th thank you for the good luck wishes, Mallory. Have fun at work. Tell the pizzas I said hello and I want them in my body. It's her. It's her. Snake, it's me. Follow me. Okay, you got it, Chris. At least I didn't have to follow her using her butt. Maybe. I'm definitely getting terrible this time. We won't have to worry about the guards here. I'm gonna give her a more normal voice now that I know she's just a lady. Good, we can talk. Oh, sick! <sighs> What is it? <clears throat> Sorry, it's just that you're easier on the eyes than any other Delta Force operator I've met. Is that your idea of a compliment? Absolutely. Anyway, what did you find out? What did you find out? Plenty. Only one researcher is left. You're a femoid. James Harks, a.k.a. Jimmy the Wizard, a.k.a. the Pissmaster, a.k.a. the Mayor of the Magical Realm. Head of Metal Gear Development Team. Supposed to be a genius. Get his location. Uh-huh. There are barracks to the north of this building. He seems to be held there. I like, I also like Chris's design a lot more than I like Meryl's design. Like, Snake is more of a perv in this, but Chris's role in the story is a lot less damsel in distressy than Meryl's is. Um, like, she seems competent and is genuinely helping with the mission um, in a way that Meryl doesn't. Like, Meryl's just kind of a deadweight and a tag along. One more thing. Yeah, Chris is also not especially into it. There are four mercenaries working as GLF's military consultants. Here we go, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a dossier on all the cool enemies. Hell yeah. Slasher Hawk, hell yeah! Slasher Hawk. His signature weapon is a giant boomerang. Fuck yes. <laughs> Marionette out. Expert assassin and master of nocturnal comp. Pyro Bison, who practices his own scorched earth tactics with a massive flamethrower. And their leader, Black Art Viper. Viper, poisonous snake. They first appeared on the scene around two years ago. They made a round of hotspots around the world before they set up in Gindra. They're very, very good. The rumor has it, they're former U.S. Special Forces. Sorry, former U.S. Special Forces. short time. I tried my best. Was that a good enough proof for you? Let's just say, you convinced me you don't need me babysitting. What else? Hmm. Anything wrong? Um. Yes. Also, these cutscenes are good. Like the fact that we Americans are not welcome around here. Why? They think that the U.S. is blocking their independence. That the deployment of peacekeepers 
is an armed invasion to extend U.S. control over Gindra. Honey, I have exciting news about what the United States uses uh, its quote-unquote peacekeepers for. That's why they have such faith in the general who wants to end U.S. interference and win independence. I thought our mission was for the good of the people of this country. But what we're doing may be... Chris, why did you join the military? What? Well, maybe because I wanted something concrete. Something concrete, huh? Like justice or discipline. All the things we need to keep going. Chris, the only thing you need on a battlefield to keep going is the instinct to keep living. <laughs> yeah, Chris is hot as hell. Yeah. You, Bert, you know what Chris means. I don't want you to die. But... Think about completing the mission. About going home alive first. Yes, I guess so. I will, for now. I'm going after Marks. Harks. He must have some valuable information on Metal Gear. Okay. I'll open the doors with my card three. You can trail me. Okay. Chris. What? You're going to be okay? Yeah, Chris has the earth fangs. Don't worry. With this outfit on, no one will spot me. That's not what I mean. That's not what I meant. I know. Thanks. Ladies first. Oh, jeez. Chris? <laughs> Chris, you've got a real devil may care attitude on you. Oh, jeez. Snake. Rescue James. Rescue James Harks, the chief of Metal Gear Development. Team. Harks is held in the barracks to the north watchtower you're in. First, follow Sergeant Jenner's lead and get to the north side of the tower.
hey, neat. Ooh. Chris, wait! I understand you've got something to prove, but please wait. I like that even after you complete the part where you have to rescue her, the guards, where you have to find her, the guards still have like little graphical differences between one another. Oh, okay. So I, I really am just like following her back. This is gonna be a boss fight. I don't know, 
not just a new area. The barracks where Hearts is kept is to the north east of here. Got it. I'll have to head east from here. And I'll be okay. What about you? I'll check out the power plant. The power plant? It supplies all the power for this fortress. But there's something strange going on. Like what? It's an important installation, sure. But there's too much traffic. I'm going to take a look. See what's up. Could be Metal Gear. Chris. I'll be alright. Don't worry. You watch your back, Snake. Snake. Leave the plant to Jenner. And head for the barracks. Head northeast. You're there. Okay, and this seems like... We got five minutes left, which is not really enough time to accomplish anything. So this seems like a perfectly good time to save. Need anything? Need anything? Save. Snake, I know this is a difficult mission, but as long as you have confidence in yourself, you can carry it out. Confidence is the first rule of success, like Emerson said. Uh, Solid Snake impressions differ from Big Boss in literally no way, except that when you do a Big Boss impression, you salute and cry a lot more. Emerson? So you're a literature expert too, huh? Aha! I knew you had me pegged as a hardware geek. No, not exactly, but... You know, I did take electives in college. I purposefully tried to learn things outside. Yeah, I know. Outside of my major, too. I'd rather be a well-balanced engineer. So that's why you're always quoting. There's a lot to learn from things different people have said. I'll make sure you get your exposure, too. Okay. And then I am also... Oh, I didn't want to load state one. I wanted to file. I wanted to, uh, yeah, shift F1. Okay. So I have a save game and I have a saved state. And I'm just going to really quick see if my save games work. She read books. Yes, yeah, she went to college. Like, this is a. Dang, these girls is smart. Great. Well, all right, everyone. Thank you for coming to my uh, continued uh, hyperfixation on Metal Gear Solid. Um, have a great night. I thank you if you're watching in posterity. Uh, whoa. Whoa, geez louise. Let's just get rid of this. Um, which one is this? Let's just... Whoa. Enable pre whoops. Enable preview. And let's get out of here. What am I looking at? Window capture two. Now I'm now I'm fixated on this. Remove. Yes. There we go. But thank you for coming, everybody. Ooh, look, and this is Chris in like the art of the game. Thank you for coming. I love all of you. Have a great night. Mwah. I'm gonna go eat some cheese pizza.